science video is for the new class 8 students. The first lesson in science is crop production and management. So before getting into the lesson, let us discuss the meaning of the word crop. When I tell you crop, you might think about farming, agriculture and plants. You're right. But what is the difference between plants and crops? Crops are plants of same kind that are cultivated at one place on a large scale. So in one piece of land, the same kind of crop is grown. It can be a crop of tomato, it can be a crop of rice which is called as paddy or a crop of wheat or any such sort of uh, food items or any other same plants that are grown in the same piece of land. So in this lesson we will be learning about different farming methods, different types of storage practices, different types of seeds and how crop productivity can be increased. The first topic is the cropping patterns practiced in India. What is the meaning of cropping patterns? Children, you should understand that different crops require different amounts of nutrients, sunlight and rainfall. For example, tea requires a lot of rainfall. However, a crop of wheat does not require that much amount of rainfall. So different types of crops require different amounts of sunlight, rainfall and nutrients. So there are two broad cropping patterns that are followed in India. This is very important to know about children. It is called as Karif crops and Rabi crops. So I repeat. The cropping patterns in India are called as Karif crops and Rabi crops. These two cropping patterns are based on the seasons in India. So monsoon is a very important season in India. In India, the monsoon season is between June and September. So the crops that are grown between June and September months are called as Karif crops and the crops that are grown between the months of October and March that is the winter months are called as Rabi crops. So how do, how do we classify some crops as Karif crops and Rabi crops? So here are the examples. Paddy is a crop of rice that requires a lot of water. So the crops that require a lot of water are the ones that are grown during the monsoon season and they are called as Karif crops. The crops which require less rainfall and low temperatures are the crops that are grown during the winter season which are called as Rabi crops. Children, the examples for Karif crops are paddy, maize and cotton. The examples of Rabi crops are wheat, gram and mustard. So hope you have understood this lesson. So the main things which you will be writing down in your notebook is this. You will write down the heading as lesson 1 crop production and management and then you will write down the definition of crop plants of same kind are cultivated at one place on a large scale. Example paddy is a rice crop. The cropping patterns, two types of cropping patterns in India, Karif crops and Rabi crops. Karif crops are grown in monsoon season. So you will write down the months June to September. An example as paddy, maize and cotton. Rabi crops are the ones which are grown in the winter season. That's between the months of October and March. Example of Rabi crops are wheat, gram and mustard. And you have a homework, children. So these are the two questions which you have to think and write in your notebook. And I would be asking you to take pictures of your homework that you homeworks that you have completed and to post it on the WhatsApp group. So the first question is, which is the main crop grown in Munar? 
So there are different types of crops, but which is the main crop grown in Munar? Why can't, why cannot that particular crop be grown in Rajasthan? So that's the first question. Second question, what happens during the months of April and May? Because here we have mentioned June to September, October to March, but we have not given you the months April and May. You have to find out what happens during the months of April and May. So children hope you have understood about the cropping patterns. I will meet you in the next video. Thank you.